I was scrolling through X and I just saw an announcement for a new feature that was added to Shad CN, which is the component library I basically use in all my videos. And I was actually pretty hyped when I first saw this. This was like, I saw this like 50 minutes ago. So I want to make a video on it and just kind of play around with it and see how well it works. So basically with Shad CN, they have this new blocks tab. And inside this blocks tab, they have something called lift mode. So you can kind of scroll through here. And if you see a design that you like, what you can do is you can convert this page to the lift mode toggle, and then I can hover over a component. Pretty cool. So let's just go ahead and copy this whole thing and let's just paste it into a file. And if you look at that, I have all the code that's needed to build that exact same component, which I, I thought it was actually pretty cool, right? This is actually very convenient. It's better than having to go and look at the example repo, find the code, copy the code, etc. And so they have a ton of different blocks here. They have like a settings page, they have a playground page, they have tables and stuff like that. And so what I wanted to do is in my existing project, which I just finally um, got launched webdevcody.com, it's just a newsletter. So if you want to go subscribe, go to webdevcody.com and give me your email. I don't know why I just crashed. That's Next.js for you. Let's just go ahead and refresh the page. Anyway, if you want to look that up, you can go look that up. Let's try this out. So I already have a project set up with Shad CN. And I want to see how easy it is to bring in one of these components. All right, so let's load up the main page here, and I want to find my container, which I'm thinking is probably underneath this grid. I'm going to put a div here, and I want to try to copy in an example. And I do plan to use the V0 um, ability that they have. So let's scroll through here real quick, and let's see what we could potentially add in. All right, so scrolling through here, I see a recent sales component. Let's just go ahead and change this to lift mode. Let's go ahead and click. Instead of copying the code, I'm actually going to say, generate this in V0. I personally, I have used V0 in the past. I thought it's pretty convenient, um, but now they have a great way to basically funnel you into their AI services. And if you look here, we have the recent sales block. And I can go up here and click this code toggle, and I'm gonna run this command. And what this is gonna do is it's going to bring in this component directly into my project. And I don't have to actually copy anything. It's also going to install any Chad C and dependencies I might need to add and kind of do that for me. So let's just go ahead and add this in. Go ahead and say, yes, I want to install this. And I don't think I've initialized this components.js file just yet. So I do need to go ahead and init that. Just go ahead and run this. Yeah, I don't think I even have Shad CN set up. Let's just go ahead and run this real quick and see what happens. All right, now I'm gonna go ahead and run that mpx v0 add command. It's gonna ask me what I wanna name this component and I'm gonna call it pricing. Go ahead and save that. And that's gonna bring in all the code that I'm gonna need to use that pricing page. Okay, so now I should be able to say, go here, I'll say pricing, and we have a component called pricing. Awesome, save that, go back to my app, and there you have it, it shows up on the page exactly how it was in the example. Okay, it is missing some stuff. Um, it's missing like an actual image, or you know, Olivia Martin, Jackson Lee, etc. I thought this was awesome, okay? I just wanted to share with you all because I saw a quick little post on X about it. I wanted to try it out, make a video on it, and hopefully release that today so you guys can get a quick preview about what it's like. Um, again, this isn't sponsored by Vercel or V0. I just use V0 on a, a personal project, and I do find it to help me generate some rough designs about what I need. And I love Shad CN, and I think this is a really great addition. If you don't use the V0 part of it, awesome. You just copy the code. I could have done the same thing, gone to components. Um, let's go to components, go to pricing. I could have just copied and pasted this whole thing in, go through here, rename some stuff, and then I'd have to go over here and I have to like change where these things are imported, which I think they're components slash UI uh, avatar. Okay, so I mean, there's just a little bit of extra work you gotta do if you're not using the v0 add command, which it's not too bad. But I don't see why you wouldn't use the V0 because I don't think they charge you for using it in terms of these blocks. Oh, this needs to be something else. This is the card. Save that. And I think this will work exactly how it did before if I go back to my application and uh, I, I broke something. What did I break? Oh, it's now a default instead of a, a named. So that's kind of what I broke. Anyway, it's been like seven days since I made a video. So I figured, hey, why not just promote this? Because again, I like Shad C and it's my favorite component library. Hooks great into React, hooks great into Next.js, and I use it in all my tutorials. So be sure to go check it out if you watched one of my tutorials in the past and you've learned from me teaching you Shad CN, go check out this new blocks thing. I think it's pretty cool. And that's about it. So have a good day and happy coding.